right, I guess we got red, white, and blue. It's the Labor Day, guys. I guess the leaf is lighting up red, white, and blue for the holiday. I hope everybody's enjoyed their Labor Day. Red, white, and blue. Oh, how pretty. How beautiful. <laughs> Getting the colors. Red, white, and blue. Okay. <laughs> All right. Happy Labor Day, guys. Last holiday of the summer. And happy birthday to my daughter. She's 29 to 29. <laughs> I know she will kick my ass. She's 27. Even though I'm 29 again. How y'all doing? How y'all living out there? I hope everybody's enjoying their holiday weekend. I'm rising and grinding. And I'm getting what they call the fuck in. And so I can get it over with. How y'all living out there, guys? I hope everybody's having a um, blessed holiday. I am truly dragging. I think this one up here is closer to me. This Starbucks. How y'all doing? How y'all living? I hope everybody is having a blessed, 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 blessed day. And I read a story where they said... Um, what happened with Tiger in the Ferrari? There was someone leasing the Ferrari and Tiger was leasing it from him. The guy was gonna do it. Somehow it was a middleman and another person. And he gave this dude the money. The dude never gave the money to the people and the person came back and repossessed the car from Tiger, not the dealership. So I'm correcting that story. Y'all know how these uh, media sites, they want to make them look bad if they can, but it is what it is, you know. I'm not here to uh, <laughs> figure out who's right or wrong. I'm just here to speak on it and give my uh, audience a little entertainment. How y'all living out there? How y'all doing? I hope everybody's good. I hope everybody's enjoying their barbecue, doing what they do. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that old crazy ass Jackie Christie. I think I done found out what's wrong with her ass. Supposedly, Jackie Christie's daughter is five months pregnant. And uh, I guess whoever this guy, she been in and out of relationships, supposedly, allegedly, for the last five years, they want a DNA. But, you know, I'm like, they serious. They want a DNA before the baby get here? Oh, okay. But uh, I guess the girl don't want to give a DNA. And, um, uh, I don't know what's going on, but they fucking with Jackie and they driving Jackie crazy. That's why she on uh, <laughs> Basketball Wives having a meltdown for no reason. And um, it don't look good, Jackie. So they say Jackie Christie's daughter, supposedly five months pregnant. And I guess she's having a, a meltdown in life. Come on, Starbucks. I know I waited to the last minute to come give me some coffee. But, you know, normally there's not this many people here. But I guess it's a holiday, so people are out and about late this evening. Not evening. Today. And, uh, y'all, I don't know what's wrong with Jackie, but y'all pray for Jackie crazy ass. They say the daughter crazy like her mama. <laughs> y'all is out there, okay? But uh, I didn't have much to talk about. I just wanted to come in and say happy Labor Day to everybody and to wish my daughter a happy birthday. And nine times out of 10, if you don't see me tomorrow, my son's birthday is the sixth. Happy birthday to my son. My daughter is the fifth and my son is the sixth. Yes, for years I got away with celebrating their birthdays together, but they're six years apart. So, you know, eventually that got old. They was like, I ain't gonna stand for it. And they did not want to do that, okay? Y'all, I guess everybody be Snapchatting. <laughs> the old people, the young people. Everybody, okay? 
And uh, let me see, was it anything? Do they need to back out? Was it anything else that I seen going on? I guess everybody being good this holiday. Everybody is chilling. Everybody staying out of trouble. Dude, if you go on and pull in, I can get my coffee. Y'all, y'all know I gotta have my Starbucks. Okay. They're gonna bag out too. I'm in a bad spot. Go, 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 go. Yes. That wasn't anything else. Oh, y'all, hold on. Good morning. Thank you for choosing our Starbucks today. What can I get started for you? Yes. Can I get a tall, hot, non fat white mocha with the pump of caramel syrup? A tall, fat, hot, um, tall, hot white mocha with one pump of caramel syrup. A tall, non fat, non -fat. white, word yeah, for. white mocha with the you pump of caramel syrup. Do you still want some cream? Yes, ma'am. All right. Anything else for you? Uh, can I get a heated Danish uh, cheese? I Danish, absolutely. And that's it. All right, 746, I'll see you up here at the window. Thank you. There was something else I wanted to discuss, guys. Y'all, excuse me, I'm sorry. I just ordered my coffee and uh, forgot y'all was here. You know how we say children are off limits and uh, people shouldn't discuss other people's kids. And uh, thank you guys for coming up under the video and uh, sticking up for Blue Ivy because there's no how no way people should discuss people kids and i was talking to my girlfriend and uh we were speaking on kids you know ha who has disabilities that's the same thing with racist and um hate you know children people don't know people are not taught to hate or dislike people that's a learned behavior now my question and y'all hit me down in the comments how do you feel about if you see someone disabled, not even just children, people in general? And I know I, I'm really, I'm guilty of this. When you see someone disabled and like you see them going into a door and they may be in a wheelchair or they may be, ooh, that bug flew right down on them. They may be in a wheelchair or they may be on crutches or something. And you run to the door to try to hope, you know, run and hold it open to help a system because you just feel bad that bug just fine and they not even scared you know y'all hit me down in the comments how do you feel about when people get mad at you for trying to assist them or do you feel like sometimes as I don't know I'm so guilty I just feel so sorry for people when I see stuff like that and a lot of people get mad you know, in my job, in my field, I do. If people in wheelchair, I'll hurry up and try to slide the chair over so they could, you know, park their wheelchair. Or if they're on crutches, I try to hurry up and try to assist them. But a lot of them get angry. Or if they're driving in wheelchairs, they go so fast like they're trying to run you over. My, um, my commentary, basically, what I'm trying to say is, do you think sometimes we overcompensate because we see someone physically challenged or do you think sometimes as humans we're so quick to judge and we may not mean anything wrong when we're running to assist them and the, you know the people that's uh, physically challenged get offended and um, what I'm trying to say is Hit me in the comments. Do y'all sometimes, when you run to assist people that's physically challenged, do sometimes they get really, really upset quick, quicker than a person that's not? And also, is it um, morally okay for someone to ask someone what happened to them if they see them in a disabled state? Is that, you? Know, of course, I feel like it's morally incorrect to ask someone what happened. I feel like anything in life, if someone wants you to know, they will tell you anything. Relationship, situationship, what's going on with the kids in their life or whatever. But hit me down in my comments. Let's have a discussion. Do you think it's wrong for someone to overcompensate to help someone who's physically challenged? Do you think is morally incorrect for the person that's physically challenged to get offended and do you think it's okay for people to ask people what happened you know like you know what caused them to be 
physically challenged. And um, as a reason, I have this discussion because uh, I'm going to bring y'all to that level and I'm going to follow up with another video. But um, I want you guys right now to enjoy yourself. Have Enjoy your Labor Day. Have a great day. My kids, they enjoy their birthdays. And uh, I'm praying for everybody and everything that everybody is going through because I know in life we all going through something, okay? And like I tell myself and everybody else, this too shall pass. All right, guys. Y'all have a blessed day. And I'm going to work, y'all. Okay. <laughs> Bye, guys.